So you're listening to 94.4 FM, South of City Radio, the Friday Sports Show for your host, Jimmy Petruzzi, bringing you news from a local area and around the world. And we were very fortunate on this show to have interviewed some of the world's best athletes, sports people, people who work in sport across a wide range of disciplines, coaches, um, trainers, psychologists. We also have a segment where we interview some of the world's leading people in the field of mental health and, and psychology and related fields who give us an insight into what they do. Um, today, the interview is a little bit closer to home, Salford, just up the road from, from where we are. And we've got a really fascinating, um, some fascinating guests who are going to give us a bit of an idea um, about an event um, that I'm sure you'll probably be familiar with, but if you're not, our guests will sort of explain in more detail. It's going to be hosted at Salford. I believe it's going to be hosted for the first time at Salford. I'm sure our guests will correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, our guest is uh, PhD researcher Andrea Stain. Welcome to the show. Great to have you on board. Uh, thanks, Jim. Happy to be on board. Great to have you on board. And it's, it's really exciting um, uh, Andrew, that Salford has, Salford University has the, um, the TEDx, and our listeners are probably wondering, some of them may be wondering, I mean, I, I watch a lot of the TEDx stuff on, on the internet, I've done for a long time, some great speakers, and this is, you know, really, really huge, I think, you know, for the university and, and, and for the city, really, um, it's, it's, it's a really, really positive thing, and, but just for our listeners, just in, in brevity, um, what, is it, what, is, what is TEDx, um, for, for those who are not sure what it is? Okay, so basically um, TEDx um, is a talk, um, it's a talk platform, so um, they're usually short talks, um, generally under 18 minutes, um, and just for speakers to represent their ideas. So we mm. often say with TED, it's ideas with ready, whether technology, uh, t- in technology or education or anything else, um, they're really interested in ideas. Um, TEDx. Is the X stands for the independent. So the X is generally um, uh, organized to universities. So the TEDx is we got the TED idea of the short um, dynamic um, talks, um, but the X is um, an individual um, organized event by um, the committee at the University of Melbourne. That's amazing, really, and I've seen some great uh, talks over the years, by the way, and uh, I learn something new every day. I, I, I didn't realize that's what it stood for, but I just watched the, um, the speakers, and am I right in saying it's the first um, TEDx, well, virtual one anyway, at Salford uh, University, Andrew, is that sort of... Yes, that's correct. Uh, wow. We're very excited to have uh, the first talk. It was basically the two co-organizers. Um, you'll probably see them if you get your tickets. Um, Nisha and Gilbert. Um, they originally decided to have the idea. They wanted to bring TEDx to the University of Salford. As there have been TEDxers at the University of Manchester, for example. And they wanted to bring our own... Um, platform. Unfortunately, COVID hit, so that's why it's virtual, but we're um, going to use the best of the, um, what is COVID has brought us to showcase our um, high um, digital media platform and uh, the university itself is known for. I mean, we know for media city campus and everything, so we're very excited for our first TEDx um, event and the first virtual one as well. Mm, that's amazing, really is, and, and you know, um, obviously this is a pre-record at this point. Um, we're, we're in uh, lockdown, and and um, and like you've mentioned, there it's going to be virtual, and you know, hopefully in the future, um, all things being well, it'd be great to to sort of to see to see the face-to-face events. But you know, um, that's obviously something that no doubt. Um, you know, will 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 obviously be according to regulations and, and so on and so forth. So it's great that it can be uh, virtual. That's that's great. The power of the internet. In terms of the speakers, um, Andrea, I guess probably our listeners are probably wondering. Okay, um, what 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 are some of the speakers? I mean, I looked at the lineup. And it's really really impressive. I think There's some sort of great um, speakers and great ideas. But can you give us a bit more of a rundown in terms of what the schedule is going to be and the sort of speakers we can look out for? Oh yeah, sure, no problem, Jim. So, with the speakers, we've got really dynamic speakers. So, it's 
speakers that will, uh, make, will apply for everyone. So basically the day starts at 10 o'clock in the morning and it ends at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's a whole day. You can zip in and out of the um, speakers or events that you want to um, listen to. And um, our speakers will range from university professors here at the University of Salford to humanitarians, to human rights lawyers uh, practicing in Colombia and in Scotland. Um, we've got even plastic surgeons, we've got um, people involved in sports. Um, so we've got a whole interesting lineup. So the first um, event is basically why esports are the new normal. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, presented by presenter Andy Mia from the University of Salford. So it's nice to have um, this event with um, we making the topic all about the new world normal, what's it like um, with COVID, but how to make it a more positive spin on what's happening around us. But mm -hmm. um, the 10 speakers are very diverse and um, if you go to the TEDx University of Salford.com site, you will see a lot um, of the profiles of the speakers themselves as well. Oh, and very interestingly mm -hmm. enough, I'm sure, for example, Jim, you would like this with your um, background in NLP and mindfulness and all that. Mm -hmm. um, with the international uh, intermission, we are actually going to have a yoga instructor and uh, he's going to do yoga um, online so you can put on your yoga mask, put on your incense, lots of candles and share some yoga online to the platform twice to the intermission to wind you down and maybe um, there could be another one to invigorate you. So something different, something practical and something that it's different because sometimes we get bored of just the traditional teams or Zoom meetings so that will be something nice and different as well. That's amazing. It seems like you've got a really great variety, and that sounds really, uh, you know, exciting. The the, the yoga as well to um, implement that in between some sort of great speakers. So, um, just to sort of clarify the date, is it March the sixth, um, Andrew? The actual date itself of the event? Ah, uh, yes. So it's not. Uh, so it's basically it's ten to six. Yeah. Um, so the first session it is divided into two sessions with uh, intermission. The first session, program one, is from 10 a.m. to half past 12, and there, then there will be an intermission. And the second session is from half past one to um, four o'clock. Sorry, so yeah. it's from 10 to four, and it's um, the whole day event. So you can tap in and out the speakers. And the event program is also on the website, so you can have a look at that as well. And we're updating our website on a regular basis, especially as we've got 11 days to go until the event, or from the recording of the 22nd of February. So it will be there soon, so we're excited. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. And, and you know, um, it's really, really exciting. And I can imagine, Andrew, it would have been a lot of, lot of work involved um, in putting us together. I mean, you know, I, with my limited experience of organizing events, I know uh, the logistical um, things and, and everything else, and, and, and you guys must have worked really hard um, to put this together and to get an exciting lineup of speakers. But the beauty is, I suppose, in one sense, is you can sort of, um, you know, Saturday morning throughout the day, uh, you know, in between watching football or going shopping or taking the kids to to sports or, 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 or you know for for some exercise outside, depending on what the situation is. Then anyway, um, you can you can tune in. So so in terms of the the flexibility you mentioned there, so people can sort of you know look at the program and and think, well, this speaker's I really want to watch this speaker, or I really want to you know um, can can you mention that they, they can actually sort of dive in and out throughout the day, Andrea. Yes, that's correct. Um, the last thing, it is on a Saturday, so hopefully some of us work on Saturdays, but some of us have the Saturdays open. I know with the new world, normal, mm -hmm. um, some days seem to blend into weekends and everything, but we chose it as to give a chance to people who work a regular job can just have a chance just to relax and sit in and out um, with those events. Mm, yeah, and absolutely, and I suppose that's one of the beauties of the internet, really, in terms of it's straight to your home, and, you know, I mean, you know, I'm all for, obviously, live events as and when it's safe to do so, and, you know, we, we all enjoy going to events, and certainly Ted 
uh, X is a fantastic event to go to, but I suppose the beauty is you can sort of, you know, um, stroll out there and, and, and sort of get online and, and, and sort of tune in and, and you're on the way really. You know, looking forward into the future, obviously, it's, you know, none of us have a crystal ball. You've mentioned there COVID a few times and that's had a big impact in the world. Um, so we, you know, at the time of this recording, obviously, we sort of, um, there's been announcements made in terms of lockdown. So we'll sort of, you know, see what the, what that entails. But going forward, my guess is at some point you'll want to do face-to-face -face events. But what's the future for the um, moving forward? I mean, have you sort of guys got around to, to sort of thinking um, or, or has it been so much to do with this event you're sort of going to reevaluate and see where you are after the event? Uh, um, basically we really want this to be an annual event and that's why we also join um, everybody out there to get the free tickets because it also shows the interest and it can make the University of Salford see that there is an interest and make this an annual event and uh, this dream of our reality. Uh, we're going to do basically a blended approach. I'm sure most people in higher education or education are probably familiar with that. Mm. So uh, we want to have the face-to-face -face next year, hopefully. We are really hope for that. And then have it um, being able to be recorded so people all over the world can um, see it. So for example, wow. my background in South Africa. I've got family and friends who can watch People are being shown interest in Australia, um, America, um, we've got um, people interested in Nigeria. So we've got lots of uh, platforms, we're trying to get this available internationally. So have the live um, performance for people who actually want to meet the speakers face to face, but also use the technology available. Um, we are a media city campus. So we've got um, BBC, RTV, we've got all the studios, all the uh, journalism students, so they can showcase their skills of bringing this to the world. So we really want to have a blended event. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. And I think if one thing's for sure, you know, there's the, the realisation that we sort of can do that. And, you know, I think that uh, it, obviously it's been very challenging, the, the pandemic um, for, for all of us, for a lot of people, it's not been easy. But one thing's for sure is, is, is sort of, you know, to come out of it is the use of technology. Um, has been has been a big thing and like he says you know going forward I'm sure it's gonna have a part to play um, you know um, whatever um, or, or sort of whenever we sort of start you know moving back to um, whatever you know normal is uh, type thing but you know for sure and it sounds like you guys are sort of you know um, thinking further ahead um, in a positive way to sort of you know showcase self to, to the world really and with the speakers you've got it looks like you'll make a good, a good impact. And I think you mentioned there the tickets are free. Um, you know, <laughs> these days, <laughs> there's not much we can get for free, to be fair. So, and, and, and to think that you can watch a lineup like that for free is just truly amazing. Um, and in terms of getting the tickets, Andrew, can you sort of give us an idea? I mean, where, where can our listeners sort of um, get uh, these tickets? Yeah, thank you for that. Um, well, you can to me or send me the university um, URL, the address. So it's basically TEDx, University of Salford.com and on the home page um, there's a, a place to buy tickets. So there would be an icon on buy tickets and you can get a ticket through there. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And it would be um, through the which is quite easy to get a ticket as well. Absolutely, that's, that's, that's amazing. I'll, I'll certainly be downloading uh, one and, and tuning in to, um, to the ones I can tune in in terms of lineup and, you know, it's really fascinating and it's great. I think it's fantastic for, for Salford, it's, you know, a, a great place and we, we sort of, you know, from a sporting perspective, we've got so many great teams in and around the area but also academics and um, so so much going on in, in and around this area and it's, it's a fantastic you know the, the media city not too far away as well and it's it's, a, it's, it's an amazing um, place and sort of great people uh, in the area and this is sort of another way to sort of showcase um, Salford to the world which you guys are doing so Andrew I really want to thank you for coming aboard the show it's been really fascinating and I found it interesting no doubt our listeners have too um, and hopefully they'll join you guys on the event on the 6th. So thanks again, Andrea, for being on the show.
Well, thank you, John. Thank you for inviting me, and um, it's really, I really appreciate that. And hopefully, everyone gets their free tickets. Absolutely. Thank you. That was Andrea Stain, PhD researcher, and she's involved in the TEDx, um, the University of South, for the first virtual TEDx at, at the university, um, and they're already making plans for, for, for 22, um, but the event that's going to be on, on, on the 6th of March, looks really promising, uh, really exciting. I'm sure they've worked tirelessly to pull that together with the lineup of speakers they have, and the great thing is, um, it's, it's local, um, getting out there. On the show, we interview people from all around the world, um, across a variety of different professions, and it's great to always, um, you know, bring to the fore um, organisations and establishments that, and in in the local area, um, on Silver City Radio, ninety four point four FM, the Friday Sports Show with your host Jimmy Petrucci. You're listening to Silver City Radio, ninety four point four FM, the Friday Sports Show with your host Jimmy Petrucci, bring you all. We're bringing you news from the local area and around the world, and we have guests in sport, the Friday Sports Show, some of the world's best athletes, sports people, people in football across a broad range of areas. We also have a segment featuring some of the leading people in the field of psychology and related fields speaking about their ideas, and today um, we're going to look at the TEDx event at Salford um, University, um, just up the road from us, and it's really exciting to have a TEDx event. Um, not too far away from where we are. It's going to be beamed around the world. And we welcome our guest, Elijah Arudugu, who's going to sort of give us a bit of an insight into his involvement in the event and beaming it back to, to Nigeria. So, Elijah, welcome to the show. Great to have you on board. Hi, Jim. Thank you very much for having me. Now, it's great to have you on board. And it's really exciting for, for the university to have this event featured around the world and, and yourself, who's, who's working really hard, um, to you know, beam it back to, to, to Nigeria. And can you tell us a bit about your involvement uh, in the TEDx event in uh, with, with Salford University? Yeah, I've, I've been following up with TEDx events, and I've been listening to the programs. They're very much insightful. Yeah, there's an opportunity here for me to help promote this event in Africa. So I see it as an opportunity for me to bring this platform, that the TEDx platform, to young minds in Africa and its environs. Yeah, that's really exciting stuff, and it's, it's really exciting for the university, uh, the TEDx, in terms of it's the it's the first um, TEDx. Uh, my understanding is at the university, and it's, it's being done virtual. Um, I, I suppose the the you know because of the the, the, the pandemic and. It's, it's, it's been sort of challenging, really, uh, a challenging year globally. And there's a great lineup of speakers that no doubt will inspire people. Um, in terms of the, uh, in, in Africa and Nigeria, how do you think the event will be received with, with some of the great lineup of speakers that you've, you've, you've got uh, that have been hosted by the event? Wow, well, everyone is looking out for this program. We can't wait for 6th of March 2021. Mm. Yeah, it's really going to be an amazing program. Everybody is expecting. Absolutely, and that's really exciting. Um, we spoke today, and having spoke to Andrew about sort of, you know, featuring it around the world, um, and and obviously, um, you know, yourself who's worked really hard um, to to sort of um, make it available for people to watch in 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 Nigeria and get the word out there. In, in terms of the work you've done, now that you work you know, really hard to do so, how's it been sort of received with, with the people you've spoken to? I mean, it's a great lineup of speakers. Are, are the people in Nigeria excited, Elijah, about this event? Are they sort of thinking this is, this is you know, uh, great? Yeah, Nigerians are really excited. They look forward to having this program because this, the, line, the, the, the lineup of speakers is really amazing. They look forward to that date. Mm, absolutely, and and sort of going forward, um, I, I suppose at the moment with the pandemic and there's not really been any other option than, than, than doing it virtually, but in, in the future, I spoke to uh, Andrea earlier and she mentioned that maybe next year there might be the option to do um, the event face-to-face -face and virtual webinar as well, so do you see yourself potentially being involved? 
in the program again if, if it goes well in Nigeria to, 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 to schedule as a webinar again, even if it goes face to face next time? Sure, sure. Once it's face to face, a lot of Nigerians are willing to come over to the UK and then be a part of it. But if it's going to be a virtual program, fine, it's whichever one comes is, is fine. Absolutely. And I suppose you could do um, both, really. I mean, there's the option in the future, um, depending on the restrictions and, and, and other things that are going on at the time, you could you could do like a face-to-face -face event, but also it could be done virtually too. I mean, you know, you could actually maybe do, uh, you know, both, um, you know, screen it virtual and, 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 and do it as well. And in, in terms of yourself, Elijah, are you, are you looking forward to sort of, you know, the, the hard work you've put into it to sort of, you know, sit back on the day and actually uh, enjoy it and, and, and see some of the speakers? Sure. I really want to come over to see some of those speakers and connect with them personally. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you know, be, you know, great stuff uh, to, to do that. But, uh, yeah, so... From, from our perspective, from Salford's perspective, the university, um, well, the, the radio station, we always look to, um, to do the best we can, um, you know, for, for organizations, sports teams, or, you know, anyone in the area, really, uh, to promote and, and, and on a global stage. And this certainly, um, the, you know, is on a global stage. And just in terms of the, um, in terms of Nigeria, in terms of their, the the, 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 so the, the the people who are looking forward to the event and the demographic. I mean, there's huge potential there, do you think, in the future, Elijah? Because, you know, if the population of, of Nigeria, the, you know, the, the desire to sort of tune into some of the speakers as well, and do, do you see it as being potentially in the future an opportunity to, for it to grow? Sure, sure. Yearly, we believe as time goes on, we'll keep having such programs and a lot of Nigerians are really waiting for this program. Fantastic. Now, it's been really kind of you to sort of join us and give us an insight into the um, your, your involvement on the program and, and, and obviously, you know, how it's sort of perceived uh, over in, in Nigeria because I, I know, speaking to Andrew, that they're really excited about, you know, getting the program globally and, and that's fantastic um, that it's sort of, you know, going out to Nigeria and, and, and obviously, you know, yourself who's worked really hard to, um, to get it out there and, uh, you know, give, give the speakers a, uh, a, as big an audience as possible, uh, you know, around the world to, 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 to speak about their ideas really, which I guess TEDx is what it's all about. So we really want to thank you, Elijah, for coming on the show. Um, it's been great of you to join us and we wish you uh, all the best. Uh, for the event and, and all the hard work you've put in to, 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 to get it going. Thank, thank you so very much. I look forward to an educative and insightful and mind-blowing event. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Um, that was Elijah who, who you know kindly joined us to talk about the event, the uh, TEDx event that's being held uh, for the first time, albeit virtually, at Salford University. Um, who is worked extremely hard to um, publicise the event uh, in, in Nigeria, and you know, having spoken to um, the uh, Andrea earlier on, on the show, she mentioned how how keen they are to to sort of showcase what's going on at Salford University uh, around the world through you know TEDx and this great lineup of speakers. So um, we we look forward to the event, and you know. Um, certainly anyone listening um, get on board and, and sort of you know get yourself a ticket and just on a final Elijah is there anywhere specific any listeners can sort of go to get a ticket uh, for the event sure yeah sure you can log on to www.tedxuniversityofsalford.com fantastic so there you go um, on, on March the 6th Saturday if you find yourself in a situation where you want to see some inspiring speakers, um, there's some great speakers. You know, get yourself a ticket uh, and tune in and see what it's all about. Thanks again, Elijah, for joining us on the Friday Sports Show, 94.4 FM, South City Radio. If you're hosting in Truzy, bringing you news from local area and around the world.